Hey everybody, so this has been a requested video from River M, and uh, it's also been a long time on my radar to explain cervical dislocation for house sparrows, and you can also do this with European starlings. In fact, this is probably better to do with European starlings um, than the blow method. Um, I want to thank River too for suggesting this, and definitely check out their Instagram. It's at Guinegic. I hope I said that right. Um, and uh, there's, there's just some amazing work there. Even this brilliant uh, sparrow decoy, I actually thought it was a real sparrow at first. <laughs> um, way to go, definitely take a look. So uh, with all of that in mind, I actually had to write some note cards down just to make sure I cover everything. But with cervical dislocation, it's one of the most humane ways of doing um, euthanasia for sparrows or uh, European starlings. It's even done for ducks and uh, it's a way of culling chicks. So when approaching this or any kind of dispatch, the number one thing is make sure that you know, in fact, what you have is either a house sparrow or a European starling. So you never wanna euthanize something that was a native bird by accident. So there is a video about uh, identification. For starlings, it's a lot easier, but for house sparrows, it can be a little confusing. So check that video out if you're not sure. It's a good idea for something like this, same with a blow method, is to practice, especially if you're, you're new and you're just not sure about doing this, kind of getting a feel for it, um, but not doing it on an actual bird is really helpful. So in this demo, um, we have some props and that's what we're <laughs> going to be using. So in terms of supplies that you need, um, you really don't need anything but a pair of gloves. You can actually, you know, do this with your, your hands, but some people like to use needle nose pliers. So I'll, I'll try and demonstrate both. Um, I only have one glove handy right now, but since we're not using a real bird, it doesn't matter, but always wear gloves since they carry a lot of diseases and stuff. And then with practicing, you know, you can just get like a small little stuffy um, that you have laying around. This was a cat toy um, or I took a sock and a hair tie and basically it's actually two socks wadded it up to give you kind of a, a head and a body so that way you, you can get kind of a feel for what you're doing um, so with that in mind um, let's get started so imagine I have two gloves on <laughs> but um, what you're gonna do is hold the body in your left hand and with your right hand this is what you're going to be doing the motion with and um, some things to think about in terms of grip, uh, it can be a little hard to grip a bird at first. Somebody once described holding a house sparrow like you would dog poop. So you don't wanna grip dog poop so much that it's squishing in the bag, but you wanna grip it enough that you're actually like picking it up. So that's kind of the grip you want for a house sparrow is dog poop grip. And so the first method, what you're going to do is just get right, right here with the neck put your uh, index and middle finger, I guess, um, and cradle the head in between those two fingers and then thumb on top. And then you're just going to bend back and forth. And what you're going to try and feel for is that, that separation and that limpness. And you are gonna hear a sound. And since this is done on a stuffed animal, I will dub that sound in there because I think it's important to prepare yourself for something like that. When using needle nose pliers, you can use needle nose pliers or you can use, um, I think they're like surgical forceps or clamps or something like that. And the nice thing with the clamps is that there's actually like a hook. So you can kind of like have it gripped and steady, but you would hold the bird and uh, you're gonna get get the, uh, make sure you get a pair that, that widens really good, but right there where the head is, and you're gonna get a good grip on that, and then forward, or backwards, forwards. Uh, you can do a bit of a pull, um, but don't do too much because that could decapitate. You know, if, if all you have is, is, again, a pair of socks, it's basically the same thing. You're going to grip it in your left hand if you're if you are left-handed you probably reverse that but anyway um, cradle that head thumb and then back forth there might be a part of you that does not want to go forward with this so as as you're going through this process you might get reluctant at a certain point. You need to follow all the way through or you could actually bring harm to the bird. So in terms of dubbing, because I do want to hear, I want you to hear that sound. Um, so I'm just going to do that motion again and I will dub in the sound.
All right, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you are interested in other Sparrow management videos, just check out my channel. I've been trying to gradually build a playlist. So there's the blow method for dispatch, there's identification, there's trapping, there's making a decoy box. Again, thank you River so much for this request. I, it was a long time needed. And um, to everyone else, thanks for watching.